the tacos, tequila, and whiskey studios. Yum, me. Then how come we don't have any tacos? We don't have any tequila, and we don't have any whiskey in here. I need at least Speak for yourself. One, one of the three. Come on. It is a Taco Tuesday, as it were. I guess. We did, we did tacos last night, and they were delicious. Oh yeah. Yeah. You made them? How did you? My uh... girlfriend made them, and she does not mess up. She's a good she's a chef? cook. She's not a chef, but she's okay. a good cook. Yeah. And she makes some spicy. Well, now, what like. does she? What does she do? Does she use she a certain put kind spices of spices in them? <laughs> <laughs> Any? Uh... Okay. Cayenne pepper. Yeah. So she's got her own concoction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's not using a package. Now, how much ground beef are you cooking for tacos for you and the and the girl? Too much. <laughs> like a couple pounds, pound no, and a half? I, I think we got a pound, but there's still so much left over. You guys talk about you'll eat so much until it hurts and it somehow feels good or whatever. Mm-hmm. Tacos are one of those. Only eat sometimes. It's not an all the that's, time. Yeah, thing. that's every now and then. That's not that's not how I eat every meal. No, no, I'm not I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm just you guys have talked about that feeling and, and that's so foreign to me. But the one thing I will eat until someone has to tell me to quit is tacos. Like we made tacos on Sunday night. And I always buy a box of 20 shells because I know I will eat half of them at least. Now, the other remaining 10 are for my wife and daughter. To but, share. Uh, yes. <laughs> but I know. Oh, you go hard shell. Uh, hard shell. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Go hard shell. Now, if I'm at a restaurant or something, obviously, hard shell is not a big thing if you go to a restaurant. But when I'm making them, because I put so much stuff in them, I like the hard shell. I like the hard it's shell. when I go for like, the hard corn tortilla. There, there's some hard shells that I enjoy. I don't actually like a, I prefer a, like a crispy flour shell mm-hmm. over. Yeah. It's all like, good. Ta- yeah. Like Chipotle's, there's no bad choices. Uh, flour tacos, like the, the hard shells are very good. Corn shell, it's all right. It's just not as good for me. You know what's really good? When they deep fry a flour shell. No, I don't want that. that? Don't want that. Yeah, I've had that. Don't want that. Because it's like it just puffs up and crisps up enough that it's like perfect. In Tampa, when I this is 12, 15 years ago, uh, called Meemaw's Alaskan Tacos. Oh, yes. And they had the best, and they would deep fry the shells like that, and we'd go there after the shows, and it was just insanely good. And then they closed Shortly after, because of health code violations. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that no, always the, the fish way? Taco joint. <laughs> oh God! The, on the street, the the places that you, you walk away going, God, that was so good. They're always doing something a little hinky. Mm. You got to make sacrifices to make food on the fly that good. Hmm. All right. Hey, it seems like all they needed was a little bit of home field advantage because the Guardians beat the White Sox uh, last night. Really couldn't do it when they were in Chicago playing. I'm mean, three to nothing. Last night was the final. The White Sox didn't get, uh, they got nothing done there. Take that, you stupid. They should retire just like LeBron's going to after that embarrassment of losing three to nothing. Well, we'll see what happens tonight. Mm-hmm. 6-10. It is two of three. Guardians, White Sox right around the corner here at Progressive Field. One of the Guardians hit a bird, by the way. Man, that's been it's been a bad a week. Yeah, it's been a bad week for bird for murder. Drones, yeah. Uh, yeah, for drones just getting destroyed and, and blowing up midair. I hope they're insured. And a drone? Uh, <laughs> yeah, all these drones are getting. There's a guy on the uh, Guardians named Will Brennan, who's an outfielder, and he hit a hard grounder to left, hit a single, very beginning of the game, couple innings in, and there was a bird on the infield, and it killed the bird. It's very brave of him, though. To destroy a drone like that? No, to be an outfielder. Well, you know what? It's 2023. And if you can't tell your teammates and you can't let your family know, then who have you got left? Well, it's well, one of those if you're doing it like at, at that level where like you're out there, you're like, I'm out in this field. Yeah, but then when he runs, when the inning's over and he ends up in the infield, it can be very confusing. You're sending mixed messages. And there are infielders. Right. That's what so, I'm saying. That's why I'm saying it's great to be out in the field. So... Uh, he hits, uh, gr- kills a bird, and uh, tweeted an apology to PETA because <laughs> I mean he didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, but with PETA, you got to do your diligence, I My guess. Goodness. An unfortunate sacrifice. Oh, I change it. Choice of phrase there. I'm truly sorry, PETA and bird enthusiasts. A tough week for baseball and birds. A second bird murder in a week. You know the. Famous one with Randy Johnson from the Arizona Diamondbacks from 20 years ago. Um, but a current Diamondback uh, killed a bird a couple of days ago. 
and now it's happened right here in Cleveland, Ohio. There are some birds that are just so pleasant. Like some of them are really annoying, but when we went to that uh, that drive-through zoo uh, like a week ago, mm-hmm. it, we went to the, like the little bird sanctuary that they have there, and they just hop all over you and just like hop, hop on you. Yeah, they just like climb on you and and. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, they they come like right on your arm. I mean, they walk right on your. They arm. come right on your arm. <laughs> they they go right Ooh, on your arm. Wow, I don't think that the, I I don't think that's what you think it is. I it might be poop. Yeah, no, mm. um, they didn't poop on me, thank God. But oh, like, okay. yeah, but you. The... Oh, that's a big load. And then this morning when I was working from home, I had my window open, and luckily I had a screen in. But a bird, kind of like nudged my screen, tried to come in, and then he just kind of like sat there looking at me work. I was like, oh, hi, little bird. I felt like, you know, Snow White. That's where your brain goes. He was Snow White. Um, looking at me. Yeah. Birds are getting sassy. <laughs> sassy? Yeah, they're getting a lot of sass to them. Because nature is beginning to finally fight back. You know, people get angry when their neighborhood is, is uh, you know, they'll be like, oh, God, we have so many deer. Oh, we got these noisy birds. We've encroached on their territory, right? You get the feeling they're starting to reclaim it. Well, and there so, was just a video of a deer on the shoreway jumping over the median, and yeah. it's like, yeah, and that that happens a lot, especially where I live. There are deer all over the place. Once you get into the neighborhood part where all the mansions are, it's lots of deer over there. You mean and Berea? I'm, no, no, no. Oh, not the Berea mansion. Cleveland. You got the ice Cleveland cream mansions. Oh, Plenty Cleveland. of deer in the Berea mansion area. Yeah. Those, that, that, those, those three bedroom, one bathroom mansions. First of all, four bedroom, one That's, and a half bath. That mansion on a hill, it's completely overrun with deer. Mm-hmm. Not overrun. They know what we like. Inhabited by deer. We have them trained. Anyway, um, trained Will Brennan from the uh, Guardians killing a bird during the beginning of last night's game. You know, in some cultures, that would be considered good luck. Mm. And for the Guardians last night, uh, for those of you who might be a little bit more superstitious than other people, it was good luck. So uh, three to nothing last night against Chicago. They'll play them again tonight. Six ten here on WMMS. Your FM home for Cleveland Guardians baseball. Santora Clan will be present at the clam. Game tonight. Yes, Santora Clam. Yes. What I don't know what that is. Don't worry about it. Come to the game if you want to see. I'd like to know whose clams are going to be in attendance anywhere. All the Santoras. My brothers, so the whole Santora brothers family. Included, their clams are out. Jam out with your clam out, homie. So yeah. you guys are all going to the ball game tonight. Um, yeah, my sister's family, me, and Brian hasn't gotten back to me yet. But Ooh, maybe, maybe him good. as well. That can't no, be good. He drives for a living. He Does he need to driving. borrow my White Sox cap? I will ask. Just so he doesn't look like a dummy. Do you have it on your person? It's in my car. I'll, of course... I have a tiny head. Do you know how big his head is? I've never bought him a hat. Like, put your thighs apart. Let me see. Muscle right. memory. Let put me your clam thi- this up. Put, <laughs> <laughs> put your thighs apart and just to kind of. Uh, probably a size seven and a half. Yeah, okay. Eight? That's all a right. big head, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, uh, uh, all right. Hey, drunk Sue. Hey, baby. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I was just wondering, um, I was going to call about something else, which I'll still get to, but what if the it's bird... It's a two-parter. Yeah. What if the bird caught the ball and ran, or flew, I should say, across the home... Re- home home plate? Home run line. The h- home plate? Home run line. <laughs> Lifelong no, no, no. baseball no, fan Sue checking home in. Run. If the Oh, if how would the bird... Pick up the ball. It's a very heavy bird and uh, a very but heavy ball, if, rather. What if the bird was a big enough bird, like a big ass crow or something yeah, like that? Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, you I know, saw I, I saw it. I saw a turkey like the size of a uh, uh, friggin' vacuum cleaner in my neighbor's yard. He's standing there looking around, Holy crap. smoking a macanudo. He's puffing his chest out. <laughs> a macanudo. He don't give a fudge. Those are fine c- cigars. <laughs> But I wonder if they would count that as a home run if the bird caught it and flew over the home run. Plate. I mean, the bird's not on the roster, so. So what? They're just gonna call that a losing team? <laughs> I don't know. Call that a foul? I don't know. I, I I guess you'd have to pose they that. They really call that a foul. Yeah, F O W L. Hell. You'd have to pose okay, that to I the think. sports minds over at Progressive Field, Sue. So. 
I know, right? Yeah. Well, anyways, okay. You were just talking about ice cream trucks earlier. Yeah. Now this, now mind you, this is like forty years ago. I used to ride an ice cream bike. It was Dixie D ice cream. Yeah. You were selling it. You were selling ice cream on your bike. Yeah. Okay. And you had to pedal this thing all over town. And I had like a route that I used to go to. And there was the one lady. If I didn't bring her three pack of Pall Mall, she'd be mad. But she'd buy all the ice cream I could possibly she could want. By the way, Drunk Sue is anyways, a few years older than me. And yeah. she talks like she's in, from the 20s. Like I've never heard of any of this stuff. A Dixie Bee bicycle. There's a lady smoking Pall Mall. She, that she's <laughs> delivering a, them to. Yeah, yeah. right. I'm she's like a cigarette right, girl. The Go most ahead. expensive thing on the bike was 50 cents. And, and that was... Uh, and that was the bike. Top. It was a bike. Yeah. It had a big old cart in front of it, and you put dry ice in there, and you put all your ice cream and stuff in there. Yeah, sure. The most expensive thing was the bomb pops and the snow cones. The bomb pops, yeah, right. Yeah. The ice cream sandwiches were like 40 cents, and then the... the um, so, did, so, uh, so, I, so, Sue, did it get to the, the point where pickles and the ice cream bars were like thirty cents? Gotcha. All right, I'll, you I can you can email so me many. the rest of the menu. Uh, listen, when you would ride, well, that's it. when you would ride through people's neighborhoods, were they excited to see you? Did you have? Yes. Uh, did you have musical accompaniment like the racist ice cream truck song? What did you play when you no. were, were you just ringing a bell? No, it was just a, a dingle bell that was on your uh, handlebar. A, a dingle bell. <laughs> she had a she would uh, hang a dingleberry off the side, and that's how everybody would I'm know that she was there. <laughs> right. Okay. Here comes drunk. Did they call you drunk Sue when you were a kid and selling ice cream, or has that been a recent no, development? Oh God, no. Okay. God, no. I earned that. It takes years to earn something like that. Sure. That's true. Sell a lot of bomb pops to get the, that bombed. So Wait, you... Listen, check us out. Here's what I really wanted to tell you. I gave so many fudgesicles yeah. and little ice cream bars away, but every day when I go home, when I go back to the shop and check in, I yeah. always was over because I'd always get tips and stuff like that. Well, and the evidence melted, so nobody could prove that you had given them away. Well, I did though. Oh, okay. So I get into that's called shrinkage in the retail in game, the Sue. And I knew the, the little kids couldn't afford it. You know what I mean? So I just give them a whole bunch of little fudgesicles and stuff. That's so nice. You were like a little. Uh, you were like a, a confectionery Robin Hood. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. But I'd always get back to the shop and I'd unload, and you know, I always had enough to get Kentucky Fried Chicken on the way home. <laughs> we made a percentage off the bike. <gasps> so you were making chicken money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't care. I was healthy. Now, oh, do you remember God, whatever? The, do you remember so whatever? Strong. Do you remember whatever everything cost on the KFC menu back then? Oh yeah, but I always got the same thing. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, eight piece wings and uh, taters. No, 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 no. Two piece uh, leg and thigh. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, listen. Like, what, what, and it was try like three dollars. Yeah. <laughs> and good. It's getting harder and harder to find a KFC these days. Oh my gosh! There, there's one right up the street, right across from Taco Bell. All right. Well, there you go. Well, it is a Tuesday. Okay. Thank you, Sue. Yeah. It's always good to hear from Sue, regaling us with tales of. Um, again, she was a kid, just a few years older than me, and she was. Her neighborhood had her on a bike. Uh, my neighborhood had an ice cream truck. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know. I guess there were a lot of developments in neighborhood snacks in that uh, short half decade. Hey, you don't always have to call us like Drunk Sue does. You can leave us messages if you like uh, on the iHeartRadio app. A little talk back button there for you. You know what the problem was with that chest of drawers is they didn't order it from Northeast Factory Direct. (laughs) If they did, then they would have uh, designer styles at uh, warehouse prices. Yeah. So, just saying. Yeah, just saying. Well done. That chest of drawers is still in my garage. I've gotten no response back from the company that's supposed to come pick it up. Set the whole thing up over the weekend, and they said, well, it's a weekend, can't do anything now, so come Monday... First on our list, we'll keep you in the text chain, let you know when somebody's going to come out. Nothing. Nothing. I called my bank. I said, take this charge off. Reverse this charge. What'd they say? She goes, we should have a decision in 90 days. Oh, there you go. I go, cool. I'll just wait three months. 
while this thing sits in my garage. Well, if nothing else, I'll have a nice bonfire this weekend. You know, when it's 70 degrees out. You want to just give it to somebody or you just burn it? No. Burn it. Out of spite. Or sell it. What do I know, yeah. right? But you know what will happen? That's when they'll hit me back. Yeah. And I make a move and somebody will hit me back and go, hey, we're going to take that. We're coming pick it up tomorrow. Meanwhile, there's a smoldering pile of, <laughs> you know, whatever, fake compressed wood. Cocaine. We've been over oh, this. Oh, it's the cocaine dresser. I forgot to open it up and look just to make sure it's not all made out of cocaine. You know, on that uh, 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 bomb pop tip there, Drunk Sue talking about riding around her neighborhood as a youngin and selling ice creams to people. Um, There's been a huge tectonic shift out of Shelby Township, Michigan. You know where Shelby Township is? You go. You've probably been out there. It's the last suburb north of Detroit. You can take Van Dyke Avenue straight down into the city of Detroit. Shelby Township's up there. And a girl working at a Dairy Queen in Shelby Township, Michigan, tweeted something that has sent the nation aflame where she mentioned just in passing that Dairy Queen has quietly removed the cherry dip cone from their menu. The- I can't believe they got rid of that <laughs> old timey <laughs> item that no one has ordered in 45 years. What are you talking about? They're delicious. I had one last summer. If they're gonna do chocolate and uh, chocolate, why not do the cherry? The cherry is the one people love. No one, no. Obviously, that's not true. <laughs> they won't. They don't get rid of things that people love. Mm-hmm. No, Taco Bell got rid of. Them. They got rid of Detroiters. Taco Bell got rid of the Mexican pizza, and people freaked out. People freaked out so hard they brought it back. Mary, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make a point. I forgot. Shut up. I We're forgot. trying to make fun of Alan for his. Cherry dip cone that I, have you ever got a cherry dip cone? No, I can't. I'm They're a- very good. They're very good. People like dilly bars if you go to a DQ. Yeah, but that's chocolate. That's not- chocolate and vanilla. But that's you can get classic. them in cherry too, is my point. No one's ever gotten the cherry ones. Except Why for you. would you get a chocolate dilly bar when there's a <laughs> there's a <laughs> there's just a stop. <laughs> just, just don't even you gotta go to a break. Just yeah, stop I do. Sorry. I do. <laughs> Why would you get a chocolate Who dilly chose bar? The chocolate? You got the These chocolate? are questions that must be answered. Uh-huh. <laughs> and listen, I can only take so much bad news. I just can't believe they got rid of that item that I never even knew existed. Which was what? The, the cherry, cherry dip the cone. Cherry, cherry, you knew cherry that existed. You knew that. I was had a ne- thing. no idea. You didn't. You've never seen a cherry like the hard shell stuff. Yeah. I mean, you you never saw chocolate? a cherry a DQ cherry dip cone. Chocolate. I've seen it. And butterscotch. You, you never went to butterscotch. Butterscotch is older than cherry. Right. And they. But well, now who's the old guy? You never went I've to the. You it. never went to the grill and chill after Cedar Point, and got a cherry dip cone. No, I haven't got a dip cone in. 30 years. <laughs> well, now you can't. <laughs> the time has passed. That's right. <laughs> now who's crying? I do oh, They still to. have the chocolate dip cones. They just don't have the cherry ones. Uh, first they came for the cherry, and I said nothing. Then no, they came said, for the chocolate. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> then, no, I'm um, you guys. I'm um, you guys. Then I came for the chocolate, and there was no one left to stand up for me. And I'd be like, that's fine, too, because I haven't ordered one in 30 years. So, But also, I'm why fine. get rid of it before summer? At they least... don't want to carry the stuff with them. Yeah. Yeah, but you know how Cherry to sell shortages. stuff? Tell people it's going away. Maybe this is just a little bit of DQ marketing magic. I don't know. Anyway. I do have to break. You are correct about that. <laughs> Wrong about everything else. All right. Correct about the break. Uh, if you want to send a text, 35192. AlanCoxShow.com is where you can watch, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere.